In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint stunning enamel blades without spending hours on glazes. We'll be using the powerful loaded brush technique. With a bit of practice, you'll be able to master this technique and your NMM will look way better than before. The loaded brush technique is about loading two paints at the same time in the same brush. I will start by loading the black SC00 from Scale Color at the diluted version in the brush and then I will pick a very small dot of the second color, here the white SC01 of Scale Color. Then I will do vertical lines applying the same pressure with my brush and slowly the gradient will appear. Starting with the dot of white and going smoothly to the black. It's a bit of magic, you, you have the gradient of grays that are going to appear automatically while you are moving with your brush. Remember that you need to do vertical lines if you want a horizontal gradient to appear. Painting an axe uh, with this technique is very good, very easy, because you have many uh, plane panels and this is the ideal surface for this technique to be applied because of the vertical lines that you need to do. Of course, if you have more complex volumes, uh, this technique may not be as appropriate as it is here. And as you can see, I'm painting all of the panels of the axe in the same way, starting with my white and going to the black with my vertical lines. When I am on the side of the blade, I choose to, to bring the most of the light at the center of, of the blade. So I start with my loaded brush technique, doing very small vertical lines to get a horizontal gradient uh, going to the bottom uh, of, of that blade. And then I will uh, put the miniature upside down and I will do the same uh, in a mirror uh, movement starting again with the white and at the end I get a smooth gradient going from black to white to black and this is what brings the metallic effect to our brain that very fast gradient with lots of contrast though as you can see I'm doing everything here with only pure white and black of course, we could be using different colors, but I wanted to do this tutorial with really um, the most basic paint that you could use, meaning black and white. You will see at the end of the video that we will add some kind of a, a touch to it uh, with a glaze, but this is uh, the final touch. As you can see, I'm doing many layers. Uh, of these uh, gradients using the loaded brush technique because if you do only one layer maybe uh, the color won't be uh, as opaque as you want so you can basically do as many layers as you want just be careful not to have too many paint because if it's too thick then the effect won't be as good as it is here to my experience I saw that two to three layers are enough if they are done properly. You can of course enhance the gradient if you feel that they are too, uh, it's too, too thick. You, you can uh, clean up your brush and then do little strokes like that um, to, ease, to ease the gradient. Uh, but it's not necessary. If, if it's done well, you don't even need to do that. Of course, you need some practice uh, to do this, but I really encourage you to do so. Uh, because you will really bring your painting to the next level once you master this technique. Here on the center of the tube, it's a little bit more difficult because there are some little uh, volumes uh, in the middle. And uh, I cannot do uh, the gradient with vertical lines uh, 
straight away but basically it works the same uh, and the whole the whole challenge here is not uh, to have too many white paint uh, on the brush uh, because if you have too many and the surface is very small you don't have enough space for the loaded brush to build the gradient but with a bit of practice you can do it and as you can see here we already have some kind of a metallic effect then i will enhance uh, my nmm uh, using pure black with lots of water so it's a very diluted version of black and I'm now painting very small lines of shadows using the pure black. This will enhance the contrast and at the end enhance the metallic effect. It's also very useful uh, to use this very diluted black uh, to paint uh, very small lines uh, at the, uh, the beginning of the blade. As you can see here, it, it really makes a big difference. You could use non-oil if you want, but here I'm using black with lots of water and it works quite well with this paint from Scale Color, which is a very good paint, by the way, once, once you want to do um, such glazes. So now I'm going back to the loaded brush technique uh, for the other side of the tube. It's basically the same as what we've done just before. And now that's the final touch with pure white i'm going to do some edge highlighting uh, to really underline all of uh, the sides of the blades and it also makes quite a difference once you do that so the idea here is to have pure white on the brush with a little bit of water but not too much you don't want the paint to be too too much diluted uh, and then i'm doing some small dots here And then I will paint uh, the edges uh, of the miniature with pure white, applying a very, very low pressure and using a 45 degree angle with my brush uh, and the side of the brush so that I can have a very nice control and a very, very thin line. The thinner your line, the better the result. If the line is too thick, then you will ruin your metallic effect. Just take your time uh, and process all of the angles, all of the lines uh, of the miniature. Of course, the quality of your brush is very important. Here I'm using a Winsor & Newton Series 7 size 1, which is one of my favorite brushes. And as you can see, that very thin line of white really sells the metallic effect. It's really the final touch uh, and it's, it's really looking great once you have this line. And of course, don't forget to do the, the cutting edge of the blade. And this is optional, but I really like to do so. Uh, you can have a vibrant uh, uh, tone uh, to the metallic uh, effect you have. With this glaze, I'm using uh, the contrast paint Thermatic Blue uh, with lots of medium. As you can see on my nail, on my fingernail, we cannot even see uh, the pigments. You want the, the, uh, the paint to be very, very transparent so that the effect can be very subtle. Uh, and as you can see, uh, we, it makes the metal colder and you have the illusion that uh, there is the sky that is reflected in the blade once you put this little turquoise uh, flavor to the blade and it really makes a big difference as well it's it's not mandatory it's really it really depends on what kind of atmosphere you want to have on your metallic effect that i really like uh, this little touch of color uh, at the very end uh, of of my uh, of my effect really makes the metal very cold and <laughs> it works so well uh, and this is it basically uh, we have uh, our axe uh, painted with NMM using the loaded brush technique very easy very quick it took 
even less than one hour for me from beginning to end to do this axe. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment below. See you soon on Colorful Mini English channel.